I finally got my taxes done. Uh, yeah, tax day, tax day. I normally get my taxes done like the first part of uh, February, but honey, I knew I had to pay in this year again. So, you know, I wanted to wait till the last day. <laughs> All right, y'all, they're still working on the back side of these. Hear them still banging and clanging. Still putting the vinyl siding in on the back. Hey y'all, it's Monday evening and I'm headed into Harris Teeter to get some sushi and some other things. Y'all, let's get some strawberries. Okay, I done picked through them, y'all. I'm going to get these. I don't see no flim flam ones in here. All right, y'all. I want to get me some cucumbers. I like mine to be firm feeling, y'all. They feel too soft. I don't want to get them. Oh, wow, y'all. Look at this. This is rhubarb. I have always heard it, but never knew it looked like. They look like red celery, but it's rhubarb. How about that? I didn't realize that that's what that was for. Yeah. You can shuck the corn right here. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> look at these, y'all. Have y'all ever heard of these kind of apples? Cool. They almost look like Gala. Now y'all know I got to grab one just to try it out. These no, before? No, never tried it. But they, I'm always suspect when they when they big like this. <laughs> they, they say that these are super sweet. I'm gonna just grab me one to try. They help these. Are help my digestive okay okay good. apples are very good for your digestive system okay nuts. oh yeah, yeah when I travel, sometimes I... okay y'all i've got the apples and i'll have to let y'all know again they're, these are super sweet cuckoo apples i guess i'm pronouncing it right that's why i like to come into harris cheater sometime because they have so many much different stuff salad bar deli you never know what you're gonna find never know what you're gonna find. Okay. Get my sushi fix for this month. Let's see what I want today. Ooh, that's something new. What's that summer roll? Spicy tuna. I can't do nothing with nothing raw, y'all. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Well, that's a shrimp roll. There's the crunchy roll. That's brown rice, though. Uh, hmm. Cream cheese. Spicy California roll. I think I'm going to get one of these. And then a crunchy roll. That's the only one up here too. Crunchy roll. And they've been in here buying it up today. Alright. I'm satisfied. Change of plans. I'm gonna get this shrimp one. This one was just still calling my name. I put the other one back. I'm getting the shrimp and then the regular California. You know what? My brother Tony said that these um little ribs and these little cases right here where you just heat them and serve, he said these are actually pretty good. You get this whole slab for $10.99. I'm almost tempted to get, to get one. I really am. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more and think about it. 
Now see y'all, see this is the problem. They don't have this over in Food Line. Look at, look at the different flavors. Are you kidding me? And I love kettle cooked potato chips. Spicy queso. This one is wasabi ranch. This is regular sea salt. Backyard barbecue. Salt and vinegar. Korean barbecue. You know I had to do it. I had to do it. I'm getting a bag of them because it's two for six. Look at this. Chili Verde. Dill Pickle. Buffalo Blue. Honey Dijon was right there. Somebody done bought it up. This is Buffalo Bourbon Barbecue. Tropical Salsa. Hawaiian Salt. Chili Lime. See, this is the problem. This is why Thundercats like me can't, 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 can't get up off this extra wait I'm trying to this is now see I'm mesmerized I can't even move I can't even move from this spot it's just ridiculous are you kidding me and correction that says Himalayan salt haha <laughs> y'all thought y'all were gonna talk about me and look, look, can we go back to this tropical sauce I mean what are they trying to do what what are they trying to do to me Ugh. Hey, good morning everybody. It's your girl Tanya Lady T. It is the next day, Tuesday morning. Um, I'm getting ready to of course make my coffee. Look, y'all, when I was in Harris Tudor, I ran out of juice. But I got me some of these cups, these travel coffee cups. It's already got the little cardboard around it, I guess, you know, if it gets too hot. And it came with the little tops. And I thought, oh, let me grab these. And they were like four bucks for like 20 of them. I'm like, you know, this is good because Sometimes in the morning I don't finish all my coffee and all I got to do is heat it back up put it in one of these cups and go um, But anyway got them And so let's get to it got to get ready for work, of course um, But yeah, y'all um, I want to come on this morning um, And talk about um, I'm gonna tell y'all something. It's like let me see. What was it last year? I went through every room, decluttered, uh, gave to Goodwill, Salvation Army, a lot of clothing and stuff. And it's like, not so much as clothing, but just stuff. I mean, are you kidding me? All these, all these papers, papers. And I'm going to just go through here over here in my office, my home business for, of course, YouTube is where I edit and do all my stuff over here in my, in my office. Um, but I'm here to tell y'all, I just, I, you know what, well, I'm just like, want to scratch my eyeballs out. It's like all this paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. I'm going to try to be more disciplined. I have a cloud, uh, that I have that I can just store all my stuffs in my secure cloud and it's protected via password. But I'm just saying, I'm going to try to do better with scanning paperwork, scanning receipts and stuff. And have them in an electronic file, and if I ever need them, I can just print them out. I'm I'm just here to tell you, y'all, this paper has got to go. It's got to go. I'm just serious, honey. But anyway, can I get an amen from all of those and people that sitting in the back that I always ask questions after the fact? Can I get an amen from y'all too? I'm here to tell you, honey, this paperwork game is about to. Ugh. So anyway, but um, other than that, let me go. I'm gonna get the trash. Ready, uh, Mr. Silver Fox. Sometimes he'll swing by on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, and he'll take my trash away from me, even though it's just a few steps. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it gives him something to do. And I tell the Lord, somebody's like, "Thank." <laughs> so anyway, anyway, that's the blessing of having you know somebody, a companion that you know is very attentive. So I appreciate him. I don't say that lightly. What else I need to jaw jack about? Um, of course, this is um, Easter week, Easter leading up to Easter Sunday. Um, we will do a morning live on Saturday. Um, and I may deviate from where we are and just talk about, you know, uh, what all that means and, and, and what the commercialization of it and all that. And so I don't want people to lose. Somebody got upset because I was making Easter baskets for my, you know, I'm a woman of God. Why am I making We'll get into all of that. I mean, you know, 
God ain't tripping off that. Just like folks think we shouldn't be celebrating Christmas, uh, birthdays and all that. Okay, well, if you don't, you know, if that's what you feel, if you feel like those type of things are going to make you stumble in your walk with God and your relationship with God, honey, then don't do it. But it don't affect my relationship with him. Because guess what? God don't be tripping off stuff like that. I mean, he really don't. <laughs> but man does. He try to put a condemnation on you about foolishness and you know for those who follow me and know me y'all know i don't i don't respond to foolishness matter of fact um i'm just talking about it. i'm just not going to respond to the person um but that was one of the lessons my pastor talked about this past sunday don't get yourself in quarrels with foolishness it's just a waste of your time because people who don't want to hear or change um they're not going to. So it's almost, it's like folly to get into a debate or discussion with people with stuff like that. Stuff that God has settled and handled before we were born uh, onto this earth. And that's why I come. I, I love that we're doing this study that we're doing, getting back into the word, learning together. It's because we recognize that God, I'm telling you, stuff that we trip off of, let me tell you, God is like... Girl, bye. Uh, boy, bye. He's, th he, he's thinking about the meat of things and not concerned about whether we make an Easter basket. Because th th here's my thinking. See, this is when you're kingdom minded. This is my thinking. So I guess I am kind of responding. But I want, I'm responding because I want people to not get caught up in that type of stuff. Here's my thinking. Most children I grew up. Uh, my granddaughter grew up. Most of us, we grew up and that was the thing, Easter egg, the Easter egg hunt, that type of thing. Here's the thing, don't lose sight of it. It's all in celebration of who King Jesus is, who he was and who he is and has become to us today. See, don't lose sight. It's a celebration. Now, of course, we as men, we market it and commercialize it for this and that. But I also look at it like this, y'all. Hear what I'm saying. If a mother or father, aunt, uncle, grandma, granddaddy, if they're bringing their child to church, because I know this, I know the church politics and psyche of people, because I've been in church, I've been in leadership, and I know the church house is packed on Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, those type of holidays, Easter. Guess what? If that's the only time a person goes to church or only time a person is open to listen to the word of God or it be introduced to Jesus and God, guess what? We can't get caught up in the foolishness of, oh, you made an Easter basket and you're a Christian and honey, please. Because my mind is kingdom minded. If it be that one Sunday or that one time that that parent, mother, again, mother, father, sister, or whoever decides, well, I'm going to go to church. I have children now. The church puts on an Easter egg hunt. The children go out and find the eggs on the church grounds and stuff like that. Our church does it. I'm sure many do. If that is the one time that person is introduced, if that is the one time that that mother is over there and she's just holding a conversation with that parent that's, that is not saved or that parent that has backslidden or that parent, not necessarily that just because they don't go to church, they have a broken or disconnected relationship with God. If that event, an Easter egg hunt, on the church grounds, where that mother, that pastor, that prayer warrior, that, that person on a particular uh, 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 auxiliary at the church happens to talk to your loved one, and just in conversation, show that person love, again now, at an Easter egg hunt, and they meet Jesus there. <laughs> Come on, somebody. And they meet Jesus there. And they say, and somebody from that church showed them love. And they said, you know what? I might 
come back next Sunday. See, when you're kingdom minded, that's what you look. You're not looking at the foolishness of people trying to figure out why is she making Easter baskets. Don't miss it, y'all. See, again, again, this is why I do what I do on Saturday. We think everything has to be uh, prolific in man's view. Don't lean to your own understanding. Because you don't know what God will do and who he will meet. If God said, I'll meet you in the belly of a whale. If God said, I'll meet you with a needle in your arm. If God said, I'll meet you in a board meeting and you're a CEO of a major five fortune company. And he walks somebody in that conference room that, 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 that has a glow about them and have the light shining. Baby, let me tell you, don't underestimate now, like I said, in the natural, if you're looking at it commercial-wise, just like Christmas, we all get out and buy gifts for everybody. If you look at it that way, then no, you're never, you're never win any souls because you're not kingdom-minded. You're too focused on the carnality of stuff. But when you're kingdom-minded, follow what I'm saying, y'all. When you're kingdom-minded, you're looking at, oh my God, this is an opportunity. I see he always drops. It happens at our church. We see parents drop their children off all the time. And a lot of them may not want to go in because for whatever reason. But they'll drop their children off for Sunday school or whatever. But you never know what day. And it could be that Easter egg hunt. Where, where the church has bought and where the parents have prepared those bags for their children to get out there and find those eggs. Again... It says celebration. Remember what the root cause of it is. It's celebrating King Jesus who rode in on a donkey. Come on now. So anyway, like I said, I don't want people in the comment section or people. And I, and I know we're human. We, 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 we feel like we have to defend. And I, and I get it. I get it. But for the people who feel that way, please don't miss it. You got to be kingdom minded. Because if you're looking again... And we know, and we know that all things work together for the good of those who love him, God. So when you have a love for God, my God, let me tell you something. If you got to go stand at the liquor store because you, you see that brother and you want to help that brother get delivered. And that brother has pulled on your spirit and he's asked for you to pray for him. Come on now. You can't be worried about the way things look. Not when you're kingdom minded. And not when you're doing what thus saith the Lord. So like I said, I don't want to get deep in that. But I did want to. I, I'm a, I have a passion for people that have a mind to work. Kingdom minded. That's how you have to look at stuff. You have to look at stuff as that Easter egg hunt. That, that, that man over there. That woman over there. And not that you pounce on them. Because see... When you show people love, let me tell you, they'll open up. Let me tell you. And let and guess what? You plant the seed, God does the watering. God does the work. See, we, we try to feel like we got to do all this, you know. All I got to do is show you love, my brother and my sister. And hopefully, with showing you love, God does the work. And he will, and he's faithful to do just that. So anyway, let me go. I've been jaw jacking her long enough this morning. Gonna get this coffee going. Y'all already know what we're doing. We're doing Colombian. And what? Dankin Daniel Screamer. Anyway, I really do love y'all. I thank y'all for encouraging me. I thank y'all for sharpening my iron. Amen. So anyway, let's go. Let's do it. Get it. Hey y'all, I was just checking out, remember these pants I got from Lane Bryant? And then I saw this pocketbook. Of course, I keep this on my door. <clears throat> just a cute little clutch. Y'all, I'm here to tell y'all. I hope y'all can see that that shimmer on this pocketbook. Yeah, you can see it now. That shimmer is the same shimmer color as these pants. Now, you know I'm going to have to hook this outfit up. Uh, like when me and Miss Super Fox goes to the little jazz things in the in our local area, 
when they have jazz night at the arts council <gasps> this is cute love it Was looking good they got our roof on I mean they did an excellent job are you kidding me and then they've got the vinyl siding I want to show y'all my address it's got the column yes awesome 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 get to sit out here on my porch but hold up y'all Wait a minute, what is that? Oh, snap, what is that? Let me get off this porch. I don't know what that is. Y'all, they did an awesome, awesome job. Looks really good. And just waiting on the windows to be put in. They had the, um, the, the windows didn't come in. So that's the last thing, and they'll be done, y'all.